Hey. All right, so this class today, we're gonna work with um, a nice, gentle, self-loving flow. So the emphasis will be on compassion and self-love and self-care to make you hopefully feel all warm and glowy by the end of our session today. So first of all, come to a comfortable seat. And if you want to sit on a block or a cushion, then go ahead, do that now. And then when you settle into the space, soften your shoulders, lift slightly through the crown of your head, draw your attention to your sit bones, sense of grounding through your roots, your foundations, feeling supported, secure, comfortable with all your needs provided for. And then bring your hands to your heart space, just rest one on top of the other. And take a deep breath in through your belly, up into the ribs and expand into your heart space with your exhale, deflate and soften. Inhale, expand through the base of your lungs, up through your ribs and into your heart space. Exhale to deflate, feel the feedback with your hands and breathe with your own rhythm. So inhaling fully and exhaling to release with the rhythm of your own breath. Tune in with the space beneath your palms. As you breathe, bring to mind a glowing green light placed in the center of your chest underneath your palms. And with every breath, allow that light to glow brighter and brighter, burning with love energy and then distributing through your heart space, your hands back into your body and then up into your neck and your head, down into your ribs and your belly. This glowing green light of love and compassion softly spreading through your body, down your legs, into your feet, every corner of your body and your spirit is encompassed in this glowing light. Gently fizzing with love for yourself, how unique you are. For us to truly love and find joy in life, we must first love ourselves. And these gorgeous, unique quirks that we all hold, we all bear, that make us so beautiful as individuals and that can connect us to our community, 
to our family and friends. Allow your light to shine from your heart into the world. Take three more deep breaths here. Great, and then relax your arms. And just bring some shoulder shrugs into your body. So rolling your shoulders up towards the ears and down the back. And then rolling those in the other direction as well. Lovely. And then release and reset your shoulders. Bring the arms out in a T position at shoulder height and then bend the elbow. So you've got your cactus arms. Palms are open. Gently draw the elbows behind you and the shoulder blades together. Then with an exhale, close the forearms towards each other. Inhale, open up. Exhale, draw the forearms close. Inhale, open. Exhale. Nice, one more time. Inhale, open. This time, lengthen out your arms. Feel into your palms. Feel that love energy drawing down from your heart into your hands. Take an inhale. And then exhale. Bring your hands to your shoulders, one on top of the other. Bring your chin to your chest and hug yourself. Hug yourself as tightly or as encompassingly as feels good send that love inward nice then open the arms out once more inhale exhale take the other arm on top this time so swap the hands and hug chin to chest close the eyes pray inhale come up take the hands beside the body Flip the palms towards the sky and with your next inhale, draw the arms up through the air like they're moving through thick mud. Exhale, take the right hand down beside the right hip and lean over towards that hand. Open up through your left shoulder, soften the shoulders down the back, stretch through your side body. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, left hand comes down, roll the right ear away from the shoulder, sit the right hip down into the mat so the pelvis is level and you really find that stretch through your right side. Great, come back up through center, right hand drops down towards the mat, inhale, exhale, lead with your left hand and draw a circle around your body, drop the left hand down and open up through the right. Exhale, lead with your right hand. Press the right hand down. Inhale, look up through the left. Exhale, draw that circle. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. So here I want you to close the eyes and move intuitively. <sighs> Allow your body to connect with your own fluidity deep breaths as you move nice one more on each side and then coming up on the left side gazing up under your right shoulder and gently come up to seated. Nice, give the shoulders a little roll and then take your feet out in front of you, plant the feet on the floor, about hip distance apart, hands underneath the backs of the knees, lift up through the crown of the head, lengthen your spine and then lean back till you meet that balance point and take the feet off the floor, shins parallel to the ceiling. Spread the toes so you can see through air through your toes. And then option to take your hands away here in boat. Gaze over your toes. Deep breaths. Mm. 
One more breath here. And then drop your feet to the floor. Hug your knees in and bring your chin to your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Then come back into your boat. Lift the feet, arms either behind the knees or alongside the body. If you want to play with the straightening the legs, then go ahead. Your choice. Deep breath. And then drop the knees, feet to the floor, hug your head in, send yourself a big hug. And then once more emerge and come back to your boat. Deep breaths wherever you are. You have the power. <sighs> soften the rest of your body anywhere in your body that can be soft keep it soft and lengthen that spine chest towards the thighs <sighs> one more breath and then hug your shins feet to the floor deep breath inhale exhale and then bring your hands behind you, fingers facing forwards, feet hip distance apart. And we're gonna press into the feet and the hands and inhale, lift the hips up off the mat, keep the chin tucked. <sighs> inhale, exhale, <sighs> sit the hips back down and we're gonna come onto all fours, take some cat cows. So wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Press the hands into the floor, soften the shoulders. Inhale, lift your tailbone, drop the belly button, broaden through your collarbones. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone, chin to chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. So you're really tucking the tailbone and pushing the hands into the floor. Inhale, belly button draws down, collar blades Smile towards the ceiling. Exhale, round your spine and tuck your chin. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. Inhale to open. Exhale, close. Lovely. Inhale, come back through your tabletop. Tuck your toes and push your hips up and back down, dog. So invitation to make this a fluid downward dog or if you'd rather then you can keep it still your choice wherever you are let the breaths be long and smooth and your attitude to be compassionate and full of care press the hands into the floor bend the knees as much as you want to find length in your spine Broaden through your upper back and shoulders. Inhale, bend the knees, look forwards. Exhale, lengthen the legs, gaze towards your knees. Inhale, look forwards, bend your knees. Exhale, lengthen, draw the chest back towards the thighs, look backwards. Inhale, bend the knees, look forwards. Exhale, lengthen. And then we're going to inhale, come onto the toes and roll over, wrists over the under the shoulders. Exhale, push back up, downward dog. Inhale, come forwards. Exhale, drop the knees, push up and back, downward dog. Inhale, roll your body forwards, plank. Exhale, push up and back, down dog. Nice. Inhale, raise your right leg up and back. Exhale, draw your chin, your knee in towards your chest and then step that right knee across the body towards the left hand side, push it away from you and open the left arm up. Deep breath. <sighs> nice, take the left hand back, unravel, kick the right leg up high and then bend your knee and pop your right hip on top of your left. See if you can keep your shoulders level to the floor. 
Deep breath into your hip flexor. And then replace the right foot down onto the mat. Come onto your tippy toes, draw the shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, drop the knees up and back, downward dog. Inhale, peel forwards. Exhale, scoot up and back, down dog. One more time, inhale and exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale, raise your left leg up and back. Exhale, draw the knee in towards your chest and then scoot over to the side of your back foot and push this left foot underneath and through. Rise up through the right arm. Deep breath. Great. Then take your right hand back, unravel, kick your left leg high, bend your left knee and pop the hip on top of the right. Open into your hip flexor. Think about your left knee drawing up towards the sky and your foot towards your opposite wrist. And then level the hips and bring the left foot next to the right. Great. We're going to inhale, bend the knees, look back round the spine and then step the feet forwards into your forward fold. Come to a halfway lift. Roll the shoulders down your back. Find space in your vertebra. Exhale, fold down over your legs. Bend your knees as much as you want. Nod the head. Shake the head. And then we're going to roll up. So inhale, bend the knees. Exhale. Stack the vertebra one on top of the other as you... Roll up to standing. When you get there, roll the shoulders down the back. Open the palms. Grow tall through the crown of your head. Lift all your ten toes, spread them out wide and place them back down. Feel connected to the earth and your foundations as you lift gently through the sternum and the abdomen. Feel into your palms. Connect to your heart and that love energy. And then inhale, reach the arms around the body, bring the palms to touch. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, hands to your shins, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot steps back, drop your right knee, untuck your toe. Inhale, crescent lunge. Think about the front foot and the back knee, squeezing towards the center line to open through that hip flexor. Inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down to frame the front foot, step back, plank position. Everyone drop the knees. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Inhale. Exhale, hug your elbows in, bring your chin and chest low. Inhale into low cobra, keep the chin slightly tucked. Press the pelvis into the mat. Exhale, fold down, tuck your toes, push your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breaths here in your down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, raise your right leg up and back. And then invitation to pulse your right leg up and down. With your next exhale, take the right foot through the hands, drop the back knee, untuck the toe, inhale, rise, crescent lunge. As you engage your legs and squeeze, think about the crown of your head rising up, lengthen your vertebra, tuck your floating ribs in. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, frame the front foot with the hands, step forward, halfway lift, exhale, fold, inhale, sweep up to standing with a flat back, palms touch above the head, exhale the hands through your heart space and release your palms, inhale, exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up around the body, palms touch. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. 
Inhale, hands to your shins, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot drops back. Drop your back knee, untuck your toe. Inhale, rise into your crescent lunge. Exhale. Then option to take your left hand to your left thigh and reach over towards the left hand side with the right arm. Great. Sweep back up with that left hand and then take the right hand down to the left thigh. So finding the opposite side stretch, left arm reaches over towards the right hand side. Deep breath. Lift through your torso, your sternum. Nice, bring both hands back up through center and then draw your hands down. Frame the front foot, step back, plank position. Hands under the shoulders, feet, hip distance apart. Engage the whole of your body. You're welcome to have your knees down throughout this plank and throughout this session. <laughs> Inhale. And then exhale, come down, knees, chest in like we did before, or body in one long line, chaturanga. Inhale into low cobra. If it's comfortable on your spine, you can press into the hands and come up to high cobra, but only if there's no discomfort or compression in your lower back. Exhale, peel down, tuck your toes, push your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, raise your left leg up and back. Option to pulse your leg up and down here. Making little pulsing motions with that left leg and then with your next exhale, take the left foot through, plant the foot, drop the back knee. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Then take your right hand down your right thigh, lift up through the left arm and lean. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift back up and then take your hand across the body, opposite thigh. Left hand to right thigh. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lean over towards your bent knee. Inhale, exhale, and then come back up through center and take the hands to frame the front foot. Step forwards, forward fold, and here we're gonna stay put for a moment. Really bend your knees, let your belly rest on your thighs. Take your hands to your opposite elbows. Nod the head, gently shake the head. Bend one knee than the other, maybe make your figure of eights with the arms. Close the eyes for a moment and just send a heap of love and compassion and gratitude for your amazing body and everything it is capable of. And then release your arms. Bring the feet together so big toes are touching. Heels gently parted behind. Sit the hips back, bend the knees. Sweep the arms down to the floor and then up to the sky. Gaze down at your knees. See if you can see your toes on the outside edge of them. That's what you want. So the, heat, the weight is just slightly back in your heels. Inhale, lift. Exhale, maybe lower. Inhale, come up to standing. Bring the palms to touch. Exhale, the hands down through your heart space. Release your palms. Bring the feet back underneath your hips. And we'll inhale, sweep the arms around the body, palms touch. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, hands to your shins, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot drops back. Drop your right knee, untuck your toe, inhale. Rise up, exhale. Inhale, lift. And then maybe exhale, take your right hand down to your calf or your ankle or your heel. If that's not there for you, you can take your hand to your thigh like we did before. 
reach up with your left arm, open your ribs, open your collarbone, sternum driving up towards the ceiling. Again, wherever you are, honour your body. And with your next inhale, windmill the hands down to the floor, press the right hand into the mat and open up through the left. And then option here to bend your back knee and take your hand to your foot, squeeze the foot into the hand and the hand into the foot. Feel an opening through your quads. Deep breaths. And then release both hands Come to the mat, step back, plank position. Find that integrity, zip up through your core and your legs. The whole of your body is working. And then with your next exhale, come down, knees, chest, chin, or full chaturanga. Inhale into your low cobra or high cobra. Up dog if you want to, use it. Exhale, Just come down, tuck your toes and push your hips up and back down dog. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, raise your left leg up and back and then exhale, draw the knee in towards the chest and hover. Inhale, lengthen the left leg away. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. You can do this on your knees if you want. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, left knee across the body, right elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, replace the foot next to the right. Inhale, right leg, lift up and back. Exhale, knee to chest, shoulders over the wrists. Inhale, lengthen the right leg away. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take the right foot all the way through the hands. Drop the back knee, untuck the toe. Inhale, rise, soften your body. Maybe a little wiggle into your fingers. Exhale, inhale, exhale, maybe take your left hand down to your heel or your calf or your thigh and rise up through the right arm. Again, feel an opening, feel that heart energy shining out and encompassing your body. Deep breath. And then with your next inhale, use your core to windmill the hands, come forwards, drop the left arm underneath your shoulder and open through the right arm. Inhale, exhale. And then option to bend your knee and take your hand to your foot. Press the hand into the foot and the foot into the hand. Open through that right shoulder. Deep breaths. And then release your back foot, plant the hands and step your back foot forwards into your forward fold, drop the head. Deep breaths. Maybe you wanna work into lengthening through the backs of the legs here or keep them bent, your choice. Maybe play between the two and see how it feels in your spine, the different release patterns. Now take your hands behind your back and interlace your fingers. Draw the fists down towards the floor behind your head, wherever they get to. Weight is just slightly forwards in your toes, don't worry. You're unlikely to go anywhere. <laughs> Deep breath. And then release your hands, bring the hands to the mat, bring the big toes together, sit the hips down and back, brush the floor with your hands and open into your chair pose. 
And then bring your hands down to your heart space while you're in your chair. Palms touching in Anjali Mudra. Maybe sink a little lower. And then turn your hands, your fingers in towards you so you're rolling through the backs of your hands. Centering that love into your body and your being, finding your strength in your fierce pose and channeling that love, power, capability inward. Nice, one more time. And then bring your hands back to Anjali Mudra and with an inhale, rise up, bring the palms high. Exhale them down through your heart space and release your palms. Deep breaths. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Bring the feet to hip distance apart underneath your body. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, hands to the shins, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step both feet back and then drop the knees and sit the hips back into child's pose. Bring your forehead to the floor. And then option to, to leave your arms outstretched or bring them beside your body. Allow the shoulders to hang. Maybe hold on to your feet, make yourself into a ball. Deep breaths. And then with your hands holding your feet, roll onto the crown of your head and lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Feel the resistance in your hands so your hands are a bit like a lever on the feet. And then sit the hips back down and take a deep breath in child's pose. <sighs> With your next inhale, peel up to kneeling. Bring the palms to touch at heart centre. Soften your shoulders down your back, draw the belly button in. And then this time we're going to push the fingers away and roll through the wrists. This time you're using that love energy from your heart and you're recycling it back into yourself and also out into your space, into your environment, into your community. This love that you have nurtured and developed for yourself, that have cared for, Great, and then bring your hands back to touch at heart center. Bring the arms up and then take, interlace your fingers, push the palms away from you and sit the hips down to one side. So your body is like a C shape. And then sit back up through your knees and down to the other side. Deep stretch. Come back up through center, release your arms. Sit down onto your glutes and bring the legs out in front of you. Hug the knees into your chest, come down to supine and gently rock side to side. Massage out the spine. Bring your head to your knees and hug. And then lie back out along your mat. Bring the arms into a T position at shoulder height. Cross your right leg over your left and then roll the knees over to the right hand side. And bring the knees back through center. Swap the cross of the legs left over right and then roll the legs over to the right hand side. Mm. 
Bring your knees back through center. Plant the feet on the floor. Lift the hips and lengthen the legs out along the mat. For Savasana, option two, bring your hands to your heart space. Rest your elbows back on the floor. And as you take this constructive rest, focus your attention on your heart and on the feeling of love, respect and gratitude for all that you are. Allow your breath to return to its natural state. And just roll with the rhythms of your unique and wonderful being. I'm gonna leave you there. So invitation to stay in your self-love meditation savasana for as long as you want today, as long as you need, as long as you have time for. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.